What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. I just want to do a quick video before I go into work. Um, as always, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for your boy so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Uh, hit that like button for your boy. I appreciate you guys continue to share out this content, but I want to just do a real quick video um, about a couple players that it's, I feel like it's a make or break season for them. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, go ahead and get into it. So, uh, Keanu Neal, um, this is a big season for Keanu Neal. I do believe it's a make or break season. Um, I, we did sign his fifth year option, and this is his fifth year um, this season. So, this is a make or break year for Keanu Neal. Um, he's one of my favorite players that play for the Falcons. I call him a hitman because he's that intimidator on the back end of our defense and now maybe also playing a little bit of linebacker in the big nickel situations. So it's a huge uh, a huge year for him to see if he can stay healthy. And, um, you know, I knock on wood, I wish him nothing but the best. Um, like I said, he is that intimidator on this team, and I hope that he can, uh, you know, get through a, a full season without having another season-ending injury. Um, he's had two back-to-back -back season ending injuries the last two seasons. So I know it's been very hard for him having to uh, rehab, you know, in the off season for two whole, you know, two full seasons. So I wish him nothing but the best. Another player, Tack McKinley. We actually didn't pick up Tack McKinley's fifth year option. So this is definitely a make or, a make or break year for him as well. Um, he definitely needs to at least get to that 10 sack number for me to to keep him around on the team if he doesn't get 10 sacks this season i don't believe that the atlanta falcons are going to bring him back um but he did show some type of maturity with him uh you know getting rid of the social media because we all know that tap mckinley um has some issues with social media and he's had some issues with his confidence and stuff like that so um you know i think it's a great thing that he decided not to do social media anymore if it's affecting his the way that he plays on the field or if it's affecting his mental health, I definitely think that that's the best thing for him to, you know, stop using social media, or stop caring so much what other people have to say about him. But I definitely expect a big year from Tack McKinley. Um, I'm trying to think who else is a big year for them. Um, I think it's a big year for Edo Smith as well, um, the running back um, that he's been on our team for, I believe, three three years i believe i think this is going to be his third or fourth season with the atlanta falcons um he wears the number 25 he's a smallish running back uh, kind of like a Devonte freeman um kind of like that warwick dunn type small shifty type guy um as you know todd Gurley did sign a one-year deal with the team um and brian hill we signed a one-year tender with him so uh all of those guys are on one-year deals and i believe this is the last rook, uh, rookie season or rookie deal uh, the last year of Edo Smith's rookie deal, excuse me. So, um, I think it's a make a big uh, make or break year for Edo Smith as well because he's another player that's dealt with injuries. Um, I like his game when he's on the field. The only thing I really don't like about Edo Smith is his uh, his blocking ability because he's so small. Um, when he was injured uh, in that L.A. Rams game, he basically was just ran over by a blitzing linebacker that he tried to pick up. So, I definitely think that if the the Falcons are smart. They will not. Uh, they will not use uh, Edo Smith in blocking situations, especially on passing downs. Definitely take him off the field. Put Brian Hill back there, or Todd Gurley, the bigger running backs who can block, or even put your fullback out there, Keith Smith, that can pick up, you know, blitzers because that's not uh, Edo Smith's strong point. So with him getting injured, I kind of put that on the coaches and on uh, Dirk Cutter for him being out there in the game in that particular situation trying to pick up blocks because that's not what his strong suits are. So not saying that he's never going to have to pick up blocks, but that's not his strong suits, a uh, strong suit. But I definitely think that uh, this is a big year for Edo Smith and I wish him nothing but the best as well. I think those are the top three players. Um, the fourth player I will put in and add him as an honorable mention um, is Demonte Casey because we have so many, um, you know, good safeties, um, if uh, Casey has a big season, he he could possibly be uh, possibly be excuse me the future free safety for the Atlanta Falcons, and they may decide on giving him a big uh, big deal going forward because he's been one of those guys that is good at getting turnovers. He's good at forcing fumbles. 
He's good at uh, having a nose for the football, getting interceptions, kind of like an Earl Thomas on that back end. He's very cerebral, very um, instinctual, um, and he just always around the football. So I definitely could see um, KZ being the future uh, full-time free safety, and I could definitely see if uh, Keanu Neal doesn't have a big year or he gets injured again, I could definitely see them permanently moving uh, Ricardo Allen to that strong safety uh, spot because he did play well in that strong safety role. He was kind of playing a combination role with uh, Rico Allen, uh, playing the strong safety and playing free safety and mixing it up and playing a little bit of linebacker as well, uh, coming down in the box or being that box safety type of player. So I definitely think that this is a big year for these guys. I wish all of these guys nothing but the best. Um, you guys tell me what you think about uh, think about these players in the comments. Um, what player you think is going to stick around. Personally, out of the guys I named, I think Keanu Neal is going to have a big season. He's going to turn it around. Um, I think that uh, KZ will still be around going forward. Um, I don't think that uh, Edo Smith is going to be around. But, you know, I wish him nothing but the best. Um, but he's one of those guys out of the guys that I named that I think might be gone because I think Brian Hill and Quadri Olison are just better running backs all the way around uh, than an Edo Smith. But they may keep Edo Smith around on a smaller contract if he decides to take like a one year deal. But you guys let me know what you guys think of the guys that I mentioned uh, in the comment section. I appreciate you guys continuing to tune into the channel. I have a lot more content coming for you guys. But as always, peace and love. And as always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Peace. And I'll holler at you guys.